Students often ask me, what is the MRes history? Here at Birkbeck, it's not simply another MA degree. It is a progression course. So it is a step above uh, a postgraduate degree. The course uh, attracts those students who are interested in learning, obtaining advanced historical research skills. Also those students who are interested in doing PhDs but don't feel quite ready to do a PhD. And lastly, those students who are passionate about a particular topic and would like to do research on that topic with some guidance. I was researching a group of poor women who worked in the City of London called the Searchers of the Dead. Um, they came out of the plague orders uh, uh, from the 1570s on. Um, so I looked at them in Tudor and Stuart, London. So I was looking at the plague orders and what they said they wanted for searchers and then what the women themselves, what they might have gotten out of doing searching because um, most of the time most historians say they were poor, useless and that at their, their work and I simply didn't believe it was quite as simple as that and I wanted to see if I could prove that they actually were quite good, they were passionate about their work and that the men who pointed them were also vested in getting the best women they could for that work. I'm investigating the use of manorial courts, manor courts, in the governance of rural England in two counties. And um, I really find it a great community to study in. It's very multidisciplinary. You can easily tap into the skills of many members of staff without really any real problem. The first compulsory module, Planning Historical Research, is set to train students to plan and organize a large research project. The assessment for this project is a literature review. So by the end of the module, students become an expert in their field, in their field of interest, and understand the context as well as the historiography of their chosen subject. The second module, Historian's Craft, is also teaches, trains students on the nuts and bolts of historical research. It's about locating and retrieving primary sources, analyzing and critiquing both primary and secondary sources, and we delve into methodologies and historical approaches, something that's so very important in framing your dissertation. And of course, the most important bit of the program is the 30,000 word dissertation. We'll match you up with one of our 40 leading historians uh, who work in areas from prehistory to modern history, and that person will guide you throughout the process of writing your dissertation. Uh, I, I worked with Brody Waddle, he was my main supervisor here, but because I've known previous lecturers like Carmen Mangin, you know, I also use Carmen as a, as a, a help and a guide for me. I, I'm very good at working on my own. What I liked was that Bert McMahon gave me a structure that I could work within because it's a subject I was passionate about for very many years. I mean, this is my second degree here, so yes, obviously <laughs> I like them very much. I love the fact that it's evening, so that when I was working, I could just come in here in the evening time to, to study. Um, I love the, the e-library because that allowed me to do an awful lot of study at home so if I didn't want to come up to London. I could just access the e-library even at 3 a.m. in the morning if I felt so inclined. Um, and I liked that flexibility that it gave me. MRES history students are part of two very large communities. They are part of the postgraduate community as well as the postdoctoral community. They can attend any of the workshops and seminars that we hold for our MA students, but also the workshops, seminars, and master classes that we hold for our PhD students. I recommend it for a number of reasons. First of all, if you're working, it does enable part-time study at a high level. Secondly, um, the staff are incredibly enthusiastic and in many cases at the forefront of their subject. Um, so the quality of teaching and s supervision is absolutely excellent and it's a great community to come back to with a range of students, the experience of them shines through in seminars and discussions after lectures with them. The program can be completed in one year full-time or two years part-time. If you're interested in the MRes history, 
please go online, complete an application, attach to it a 500 word summary of your research interests, and someone from the history office will contact you to set up an interview.